Pop was good, man. Was good, man. It's your boy Demi D, the Go Getter, Mister Everywhere, and you never there, man. And you listen, man. I got another one for you guys. My latest show, Digging with Demi, my vinyl show for my vinyl collectors. I'm out in BK, and I got my guy here on deck. Was goody, man. San Solo, man. Brooklyn, I guess Brooklyn people got the the vinyls, man. So on the show, what we do, we get to we have you showcase five of your pieces. We have a uh, three that you have a talk piece about. Well, you want to give a story, how you bought it, why you like it, whatever, whatever. Fourth one is like a show off piece, brag rights for other other collectors. Then the fifth one is your prize possession. So we're gonna kick it off here, my my, my guy Solo, man. You know, let them know, you know, how you started with your hip hop, the collecting. Yeah. All right, all right. So I was born in 73. That's the year the infamous party. I was 15, uh, 20 Sedgwick up there with Cool Herc. Uh, so I was I grew up with hip hop, you know what I mean? So I, I love vinyl. Uh, parents uh, used to take me to the record store when I got good grades on my spelling tests. And so I was always collecting vinyl since like fourth, fifth grade. You know what oh, I mean? So your parents introduced you to, to vinyl. Oh, that's yeah, dope. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. This collection that I got here is a recent collection because I got tons of albums that's in storage somewhere because of the space here. But a couple years ago when I turned 45, I started collecting 45s. I was like, I'm going to spend them. There was a bar around the corner that had all, uh, they, they, they got turntables. And so so I, I just rocked 45s for that night. And so this is a little 45 collection I got. Um, cool. Proud to share it with y'all. No, thank you for being a guest, man. And that's the thing though with vinyl, the shit does get a little space consuming. So I know a lot of people I know have this shit in storage. Even shout out to my pops, we got a lot of vinyl in storage, be a lot of tape CDs. All right, my guys, so we're gonna kick it right off, man. What's the first piece you wanna start off for your first three for your talk pieces? The first one is something that take me back to the '80s when I was in middle school. Uh, my hoop squad, we came out to this uh, a couple times. You know, did a little you know routine before the game and everything. But the reason, not only is it that, because I got a whole bunch of old school songs like that, but not only that, it's, it's because of the cover. It's Egyptian Lover, but it's in the shape of a pyramid, that's and dope. that's something that's rare. So, you know, the vinyl, it it's, it, it, it plays on my, on that, but it's more suited like to my 1200s, but Egyptian Lover, the pyramid, okay. so I just feel that whole vibe right there. That's definitely like a collector's piece right there, man. Dope. <laughs> And what's the name one more time for the people? Egyptian lover, baby. Right. Egyptian lover. Nice. Let, me, let my guy get a close up of the cover, man. This is dope, right here. Dope. Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> All right, so we got one down. What's the next one for the talk piece for the people? People talk about the uh, best years of hip hop, and they say 88 and 94. And so because of that, I'm a look. Uh, 88 came first. I always say 88, 88 is absolutely official. That's that's like. But 94 is also nice. So this record, I, uh, yeah. I got at in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It was the second show they did. Uh, DJ Scratch, uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and um, who else was with them? Shout out to Jazzy Capri, Jeff too, man. Capri Shout out to Jazzy Jeff. was with them. Uh, they did that show, and uh, I went in Grand Rapids, Michigan, like last fall, and got this from a cat who a big collector, distributor out here, Gene Brown. What's up? But this is uh, a 45 with the same song, Hey Young World, one by Nas and one by Slick Rick. So one nice. representing the 88 class, one representing the 94 class. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So that's classic right that's there. That's some ill, ill, ill something right there. That's definitely ill. 88, to 90. have Nas and Slick on there, man. We can get that. Get a quote. Get it on. Um, shout out <laughs> that too right there. Oh. And shout out to, you said Grand Rapids, man. Shout out to my guy, Willie the Kid, man. That's where he from. Oh, yeah, down. yeah. No yeah, doubt, no yeah. doubt. No doubt. All right. So I like that one too. That's definitely classic right there. Nas and Slick. Right. So what, what you got next for the people? Um, Nas is Slick, a joint. Rick. I don't always support my guy Raz. And um, I just happened to do a pre order and uh, it came with a little shout out. Uh, you know, sign seal okay, uh, joint to me. Rass always been one of my he, favorites. Um, because he from? he from Cali. Um, but the thing is, uh, he grew up with a cat that went to Michigan State with me. Okay. And and Rass been out there for years. I mean, he he he's a legend. And so this was like two years ago, and unfortunately, like last year, I was able to secure him, and I got him on a track. We got a uh, we got a track called um uh, hashtag Dope Rhymes Matter. 
You know what I'm saying? matter. So, right. you know, this is something that, you know, like to go from always being a fan of his and having his that's record dope. to being able to get on a record with him is something that's fresh. This ain't that record, but it's coming. Nah, but I, it's all about the story. That's what this is about, all about the story. So we got the first three right there out the way. So now we're going to move on to your brag piece right here. Even though you had some, those were some brag pieces you had right there, but we're going to get into the fourth, please. Flex on them. Right there. I'm always about supporting the home team. And what am I got? I got a big crew. Urban Nights Forever. Uh, shout out to Anonymous 73. Um, they're from James, Detroit. I mean, uh, um, they from Michigan. Michigan, Michigan. Michigan. Okay, but they live in different places right now. Right. Uh, Anonymous seventy three, Jay Turner, Dynamite, Accurate Aim, uh, Mike Mish, uh, Shaka, Tate, G Rock. Uh, it goes on and on. Salute Yo, the crew the is thick. Yo. Sha, Tony Ozier, and that's what I'm getting into right now. Like the crew is so thick. My man Tone. He, he from the crib, but he live out in Portland now. I got a ton of his records, but I'm privy. Like, you can get it on Bandcamp. Tony Ozier. T-O-N-Y-O-Z-I-E-R. This is from a project he did this year. Two, uh, no, excuse me. 20 Tuesdays in a row, he dropped a single. Nice. <laughs> and these is two of them that he pressed up 20, on wax. So 20 this is Tuesdays in a row. In 2020. He dropped a, a single. He ain't, he ain't press them all up. These are the only two he pressed okay, up. So okay. I, I'm like, and you can get them on Bandcap, but there ain't too many people that got these. They only press up like 150, 200 copies. So, you know, crew is thick. It's salute that the tone. We salute the tone. You know what I mean? And, and we got the, the last, the final piece, your prize. I know, I'm sure you got more than one, but one of your prize possessions. We'll roll them up on that. Last. Got some good pieces here though, man. I can't, I can't. Some good backstories too. Good, good looking, good looking. Yeah. Last uh, December, I was. It was about eleven o'clock one night. This pre-COVID, all that. I was about to get in bed. I get a call from the bartender around the corner where they got the turntables where right. I did the forty-five mm -hmm. party when I turned forty-five. He's like, "Yo, my man, your man is here with his records because I had met this cat who have a. Uh, he have a hookup where." he can press your song onto wax. Okay, that's dope. So I had met him two or three weeks ago. Now he was back in town because he lived upstate somewhere or something. So he was back in town and he had my record. So this is my first and only test pressing of that Ear to the Street, that video you seen. Oh, it's your shit. I, I, got, the, I got a test pressing of the vinyl. Nice. So you know what I'm saying? Like that that's is... a prize <laughs> possession right there. Yeah, nice. yeah. Let him know the title of your shit again, though. That that joint is ear to the street. Um, I got mad joints coming out. Uh, me and my man MDG, we got a joint called Quintessential Vibes coming out. Uh, I got Colors Movement and Sensations coming out with uh, Three the Hard Way. I got the Sign Solo Project, uh, bringing eighty eight back coming out. I got Solo a Feature Presentation Volume Two coming out. Oh. It's just like mad music. Just get on there, and follow check up, it. man. Yeah, let me know you got a video Instagram. for the Air Street, Air to the Street Two. You got a video. Let me know your yeah. YouTube channel and all yeah, that. Yeah, sign solo. S double A. Stop playing. It's the S double A N S O L O. Here to say hello. Let's go. Easy. Search Yo, that. That was a dope collection. Your prize, your prize possession is definitely admirable, and that that's what's up, man. That's something you can always hold on to. And I'm glad you came through. Well, I came through, and you got to show that. And all the other vinyl lovers can see that too, man. Maybe uh, maybe more MCs will do that. Get their shit pressed up. And it can be something you have for yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't hold on to. But we're going to get it Salute up there to, to the you, masses. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, we're going to listen. That's what the Go Getter TV does too. We support indie hip hop all day as well as vinyl. And as well as having regular discussions on rap, man. So you already know. Follow your boy, the Go Getter TV. YouTube channels, the Go Getter TV. Twitter. All day, man. Hip hop. You already know.